So get out of your head, just start taking that first step and then take a bunch of messy action afterwards. Do all the steps we talked about because when you do, you start printing money again and you already know what I always say. That's when good people like you make good money, they do great things. Welcome everybody, this is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another Money Monday episode of For the Love of Money. We're going to talk all things business, all things money on every single Monday. And today we are really going to do a deep dive into how to restart your money. And that is how to restart your business or how to restart an income stream that you once had that for now, for some reason, is either paused or non-existent or barely treading water. Anyway, it's not where it once was and you want to get it cranked up again. That is what today's episode is all about. Now, I know that many of you have been in this situation either in the past or you might be in this situation right now. And quite honestly, if you've had good momentum once, it's very easy to get back to and then exceed good momentum this next time around. I mean, One of the first most obvious reasons why is I want you to think back to the first time that you were building this business or this side hustle. I want you to think back and realize you didn't know what you were doing and you were poking around in the dark. You were kind of feeling your way around. You were asking for help maybe. You were learning through trial and error. Well, you've got all that under your belt right now. So now it's just about applying what you already know and building momentum. Again, I'm going to share exactly how to do that. And this works Listen, whether you have a full-time business that gets needs to get cranking again, or a part-time, or a side hustle, or a network marketing team, whatever you have that you feel like you've abandoned, we're going to get that thing printing money for you again right now. The additional good news is this. Customers that you already sold once are the easiest customers to sell again. That is, as long as you did a good job servicing them, as long as you did a good job of giving them a good product in the beginning, which I'm assuming all of you did, then customers that you already sold once are the easiest customers to sell again. Ditch that story that they don't want to buy from you again. Ditch that story that maybe they're judging you that you went MIA. Who cares? Because the good majority of them are literally wishing for you to come back around full of zest, recharged, ready to go again, and that's exactly what you're going to do. So here's a few steps. And the first step, if your business is totally paused or you know, if it's non-existent, you want to get it going again, the first step is to rekindle the flame. Rekindle that flame within yourself. Matter of fact, you're probably not even considering getting your business going again unless you've already been doing a little bit of rekindling of that desire. Remind yourself why you started that business to begin with. Allow yourself to dream again. Play stupid idea time again, as my friend Rob Murgatroyd would put it. Allow yourself to get lost in what could be, how big your goals might be, what your end goal was once was and what it might be this time around. But that first step is you got to rekindle that flame. The next step is now that you get your zest back, you need to clarify and reset your goals. I want you to choose a brand new goal. I want it to be something that you'd be damn proud of. And once you've chosen that goal, I want you to work backwards, building the set of tracks like we always teach in the masterminds, like we always teach when we do workshops. I want you to set that goal. I want you to work backwards, building the set of tracks on how you are going to get there. Remember, don't be so attached to that set of tracks that you know if something doesn't go exactly as to plan, now you think you're derailed. That's not the case. Guys, we do this all the time. Lori and I, Our team, we set a big goal. We set the set of tracks and how we think we're going to get there. It never quite looks like how we thought it was going to look, but we always get there. So set your goal, build a set of tracks on how you see yourself getting there, even if those tracks don't unfold exactly the way that you think they're going to unfold. Next, start re-engaging your customer and your prospect list. And if you don't have one, start building one. Like, Guys, you should always, right now, this is your wake-up call, have an email list at absolute minimum going that you're always adding value to. So when I say 
start re-engaging them, that means you literally start re-engaging that list. Your very first video or piece of content to them might be, surprise, I'm back. Let me share with you what I've been doing the past several months. And just pour your heart out. Guys, I love this business. I love this product. Here's what I went through. I am back. Who wants to lock arms? So start to re-engage that list. Start adding value to it again. Yeah, there might be some stale names on it at this point. They're going to remove themselves. No, No big deal. But a lot of them are going to be so excited that you're back and they're going to eat up your content. Now, if you don't have a list to rekindle, dang it, let's start building a new one from scratch right now. I want you to build an email list or you won't survive in the business world today. Your email list is literally your asset, your gold. And I want you to build a text message list. If you don't have one of those, you're going to fall behind everybody else because email lists, while still important, their open rates are they're going so far down because there's so much distraction out there. But text message lists, those things have a 90% or more open rate within the first few hours that you send out a text. So I want you to be building both of those lists right now. I want you to start re-engaging your audience. If you have a podcast, if you've got a YouTube channel, if you've got any kind of media, social media that you haven't been using, I want you to start re-engaging your social media and all of your different types of media that you have. I want you to start, once again, guys, here's where I've been. Surprise, I'm back. Here's who I want to add value to. I want you to crank up that value-adding machine in every list and every form of media that you have. And I don't want you to think about it. I don't want you to slowly get back into it. I want you to dip your toes in. I want you to go in all guns blazing for your lists and for your audiences. Then... I want you to rethink your posturing. Why are you better than ever now? How have you improved since you've been gone? What sets you apart from the competition right now? What kind of hindsight or insight or 30,000 foot view have you gotten while you took a time out? I want you to rethink and repitch your posturing as to why you are the freshest, best choice right now. It might be something like in the past, I already blew your mind with X, Y, and Z. And now I'm adding one, two, and three to it. Look what I have learned. Look what I have added. Matter of fact, what have you accomplished lately to set you up as someone to learn from again, to invest in again? Clearly, you learned something about yourself. You learned something about the world. You learned something about your product line during your hiatus. Even if you sat there on the couch and did nothing and ate chips, you still learned something about yourself, your behavior, something that's making you want to get back into business. Share that. Share that and talk about why you, when you combine your old way of showing up plus this new way of showing up, why you are absolutely unstoppable and why people are going to want to do business with you, lock arms with you, partner with you. You need to rethink and reposture your posturing. How has your product improved or changed? This is a separate point. We just talked about you and your posturing. Now I want you to talk about your product. How has your product changed since you've been gone? How can you? change it. If it hasn't changed, by the way, change it. Tweak it a little bit. Improve it. Massage it. Give yourself a reason and give others a reason, your prospects and your past customers, to talk about you and your product again. Reskin that thing. I mean, the good news is you don't have to just get back to business with like the same product you once had. You can get back to business with a newly improved product. You can even improve it to the point where, ready for this? You are coming back and charging more for it than when you took your break to begin with. That's right. You can reskin it, improve it, make it fresh, and charge more for it than when you left. And while you're at it, tweaking or improving your new product, I want you to reskin and rethink your old products that were already built. So if you had an old book, if you had old courses, if you had old podcasts, if you had old coaching methods, old IP, which is intellectual property, if you had old physical products, I want you to think about, they're still sitting there, how can you reskin them to be a less expensive or entry-level version that leads people into your new product, and boom, now you've got a new discounted additional income stream for you. So now you don't just have one income stream, now you've got your old set of products, which are more affordable, reskinned and fresh, and then you've got your brand new products, which are tweaked and improved, the, the, you know, the 2.0 or whatever you want to call it. Next, I want you to send out a survey asking what your prospects, your audience, and your customers want from you. I want you to ask them, what changes you want to see? How do you want me to serve you this time around? What would make you buy from me? How can I fill a need for you? They will give you the answers to the test. 
it inspires you on how or what to come back with. And here's the best part. This is kind of a one-two punch because when you send out a survey, everyone who refer or uh, answers a survey back, they are now leads. They told you what they want. This also acts as a lead list. So send out that survey, find out what they want from you, and then tell them, good news, I created it. You're the first to get a chance to buy. And then last but not least, when you're restarting a business, make a referral list. Reach out to that referral list. Tell them that you're back and tell them that you're looking for one or two good, warm referrals that need your new, improved version of you or your product. People want to play the hero. It's literally a human trait. People want to play the hero. And they want to play the hero for you when you go to them, honestly, and say, hey, took some time off. I was working on improving my product, improving my coaching, improving my team, improving my whatever. Here's how I'm showing up today. And I would love to know, who do you know that needs this? And then you go out to those referrals. And that is your low-hanging fruit. That is your fast-acting income. Guys, if you do all these things and stop building stories that your customers or your team, or whomever has written you off, and actually, if you just stop caring, if you do all these things, you're going to be able to restart bigger and better than ever, and even faster and easier than you think, quite honestly. So get out of your head, just start taking that first step, and then take a bunch of messy action afterwards. Do all the steps we talked about, because when you do, you're going to start printing money again, and you already know what I always say. That's when good people like you make good money. They do great things. Guys, your restart, your comeback is closer and easier than you think. And by the way, if you love this, like if this inspires you, number one, please share this with everyone. But number two, this is one of the things we teach in Fast Foundations, our our more entry-level mastermind for people making less than a half a million dollars a year. And we are gonna start re-enrolling that thing next month in a brand new, epic, improved way. Hey, it actually almost sounds like I just took my own advice. It's reskinned. It is improved. It is changed to fit the times that we are in to meet the challenges that we are in right now. Because I know that all of you with businesses, you have a new set of challenges based on this time that we're in right now. And that's what we are going to lock arms and work through as a group. So check it out. If you want to join it, you can't join right now. You can only get on the waiting list. Yes, there's already a waiting list. The quicker you join the waiting list, the further closer in line you are. So go to fastfoundations.com. Check out everything that we have to offer there and put yourself on the waiting list. We'll let you know, all of you on the waiting list, we'll let you know that it's open before we let the general public know. So go to fastfoundations.com, check out all the details there, put yourself on that waiting list, and you and I and a handful of other like-minded people are going to lock arms on your business going forward for the rest of this year. Guys, thanks for listening. I always appreciate it. Thank you for sharing this episode. Thank you for DMing me what your feedback is, your takeaways. I absolutely love every single minute of it. Let's get going. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.